The Solana Astrology is looking very bullish in December, January. All right, so Solana is up at 61 right now, and it has already gone on a tear from the bottom. I sure wish I bought more on the bottom there. It has already gone up, wow, 700%. That is incredible. From that bottom. And I drew this Fibonacci line from the bottom to this local peak back in April 2022 to see how we're doing with that. We've already passed the 0.618. We passed the 0.702. If we head up to the 50%, from this point up here, we could add up to 75. Um, and then I'll look further for an even more bullish case. But let's look at the astrology. What I was noticing that's very interesting is this Jupiter conjunct the Solana Uranus. And if you don't understand what that means, I will explain. So Jupiter is the planet of expansion and Uranus is the planet of technology and crypto. And so Jupiter is expanding the Solana chart, perhaps, uh, as Solana being a crypto. This could be a very bullish transit. And this is happening on December 23rd and then happening again on January 6th. So there's a possibility that Solana is really peaking out um, for New Year's, basically. <laughs> We could have a very good Christmas and New Year's with Solana. All right. Um, and perhaps this could head in further into January. Let's see. That's kind of a, we have a negative at the end of January, but then also a positive. So those might cancel each other out. Um, but then we have Pluto conjunct the Solana Saturn. That's interesting. I'm actually not sure how, if that's bullish or bearish. But let's just focus on the meantime, potential bullish activity in January, uh, December that might hit into January. And we also have the Saturn trine, the Solana North node on December 12th. And this is a time of reaping rewards of past actions. So we're already seeing Solana already have gone off on a tear when um, we could go up, up a bit further. We will see, but I just wanted to show you this. This is looking pretty bullish on the astrology. Now I am not, I am personally, this is not financial advice, but I am not thinking this is a good buying opportunity more of a selling opportunity, more of a taking profits. I've already sold about 50% of my Solana bag because we've already gone up 700% from the bottom. And what do we want to do? We want to sell, or I'll just say in my case, I want to sell when markets are going up um, and peaking out um, and then buy when things are super low. So I did wind up buying around 20 and then I got some at 17 and then selling some here and potentially, yeah, selling some of that into Bitcoin, selling some into cash to, to move into other altcoins that hopefully could go off on a run as well. Now in the most, 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 most bullish case scenario, let's do a Fibonacci from the peak from 2021 to the bottom. And if we head up to the 50% level, then I'm not saying this is gonna happen, but we could hit around 137. That would be probably the most bullish case. Unless we just go off on a Bitcoin all-time high and then altcoins just go off on a tear, we could get a new all-time high for Solana, but I'm not saying that's happening anytime soon. That depends on the Dow Jones. And if, if the Dow Jones is going to head up into an all-time high, Geez, we're we're already super close. I mean, this could happen. I'm definitely not saying this is happening soon, but it could. Wow, that we are only. Oh my God, we are only two percent, 
2.24% from an all-time high with the Dow Jones. And this could happen sooner than we think. If the Dow Jones goes in an all-time high, then Bitcoin could, and that could mean a major, major, major altcoin run. Jeez. That'd be exciting. The NASDAQ, let's see how close the NASDAQ is. From an all-time high from where we are right now, 5.5%. We only need to go 5.5%. Let's look at the S&P 500. All right, maybe a little further on this one. Oh, 5.5%, the same. Um, but then I would also wanna see I would also want to see the DXY start to head down below 99. We're still at 103 um, because if we head down below 99, then we could. Typically, the crypto bull markets happen when the Dixie is heading down or has already headed down quite a bit. Um, I'd like to see it head down further to really get a bull run. Now, that could happen next year or 2025 is what I'm thinking. So, we still have some time to go, but Bitcoin is looking strong as heck. And it's still just going off on a tear. We already hit 44. I now have a... Uh, sell order at 45 uh, but we could be heading up to 48 i'm thinking on the weekly on the weekly charts we could see wicks going up to 45 and even 48 in the most bullish case 50 um before we head back down um, but then from there we could head down to the 30s again this is what i'm thinking and what would that mean for solana well we kind of already talked about it, but Solana could head up to 70, 75 in December uh, before we see a correction. Um, and that's kind of a pretty cautious estimation. Uh, if it's more bullish, it could head up to 80 or even 105. So that's what I'm thinking. Just wanted to show you guys um, some of this um, Solana astrology as well as a bit of a market analysis here. This is fun. So if you wanna see more videos like this, definitely subscribe. We'll be coming out with more crypto astrology videos. You don't wanna miss this, guys. And I'll talk to you very soon. Have a great rest of your day.